I don't know if I knew what I was in for when I came to Shimane. All I really knew was that there was a silver mine and that I knew I would get a chance to eat some of the local food. But honestly, it was like such a packed two days of so many different kinds of experiences. like climbing up the mountain to go into the mine. That might have actually been one of my favorite parts. It was morning, it was gorgeous, the way that the sun just shone on the trees and the landscape. I mean, I could have hiked up that trail for hours, but then when we went deep into the mine, well, you could almost imagine the history happening. walking down just the streets and just seeing all of the houses and how many cool shops there were but not just that just like the the views the com combinations of the buildings with the surrounding natural environment was stunning i mean that that alone is stunning but when you go in and you go and you meet the people and you see all the little hidden gems. You learn a lot about history, but honestly, it doesn't feel much like learning about history. It feels more like you're stepping back in time. There's nothing that you can replace that with. You can't get that in a big city. You have to come out to a place like this that's been sort of been preserved and sheltered. I feel like um, if you really want to go somewhere where you can really relax, and take your time to immerse yourself in a beautiful place with a lot of history, then Ashiman is definitely some place I would recommend coming to. Um, I would definitely want to come again. I'm sitting here thinking about places that I want to spend more time in, actually. If I had more time, I think I would like to take it slow and just really enjoy myself. Um, and yeah, again, the being outside, being in the nature and then seeing the history and seeing how people lived that you really can't beat that it's just been an amazing experience <laughs>